So, welcome in, one and all. I hope you're having a cracker of a day. I hope your day is going really, really well. Today, I want to talk about, um, obviously, it's a mental health video. I want to start talking about video games and mental health and how they approach mental health and, like, the little bits that we can learn from each point. Now, obviously, there's lots of games I could have picked from, from, like, Borderlands, Limbo, Neverending Nightmares, Night in the Woods, Hellblade, Life is Strange, Heavy Rain, Detroit Become Human. The list goes on. And on and on. And that's a good thing that we have this many games that cover mental health and everything in that in that vicinity. Now, what do I want to concentrate on? I want to concentrate on an idea that uh, I personally believe in. And it is mentioned a lot in um, how to talk with two people as a general rule as well. So if you're looking at how to talk to people as a general rule, um, it it covers it's covered in some of the books and self help guides, and I think it's really important to cover. Well, I want to talk about Life is Strange, and it's not about Kate Marsh because I do want to do a whole episode on Kate Marsh as well. Because you know what, Kate Marsh is an absolutely fascinating character, but this character I feel it has a little bit more um, behind the scenes and a little bit more that um, when you look at him it's a little bit more difficult to pick up on. Yeah, you, um, you all will have picked up on it, but you'll all see him, most of you will see him as a bad guy. That's Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott possibly suffers with anxiety, paranoia, muscle spasms. You get all that from the bathroom scene. And then the images that he draws would indicate psychosis. You then go a look at his trauma history, and he's been in therapy for five years at the point of the game uh, you can see how his parents treat him you see that in before the storm um so before the storm like puts the cement into the basement here of the issues that nathan suffers you see him getting bullied constantly you see you can slowly see him evolve and this is where before the storm was very very good uh, for chloe and for Nathan, because it just gave you that little bit more information about why Nathan was so moldable by the obvious, uh, by the obvious. Um, so, yeah, why was he so moldable and why was he so, evo uh, <clears throat> why was it so easy for the uh, teacher to uh, abuse him in a, in a manner of speaking? You see, you see Nathan get bullied so much throughout. His behavior is like partying and drinking and at the drugs. And obviously he's on uh, uh, antidepressants as well and things like that because you see them in the game. But you, see, you can see all that as a mask as covering up of how he feels and ha uh, this life that must be so, so lonely. That it just seems that everything you look at is a cry for help with Nathan. His own art style is so, so dark. You've got to remember he didn't actually commit any of these kills. But the dead bird and the dead dog image, the, uh, depending which way the storyline goes, it's so, so, such a dark art style. And you can see that he doesn't mean to hurt anybody. But he's certainly on a slope which could lead him to become the worst in society. And it's one of them things, but... He does have positives if you like look through his emails and you can see Christine's emails that are like encouraging him to uh, stand up to their dad because you know what? It can be the hardest thing in the world to stand up for who you are and your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs. And it can um, or stand up to make yourself feel better. He's just currently getting battered from absolutely everywhere during Life is uh, life Strange Before the Storm, which is obviously the main part. Um where we're talking about Nathan from. Yes, he's very, very poignant when it comes to um, this uh, Life is Strange episode two. You you see some of the things, but he's only one of the dominoes that gets to that point. Yeah, he's a big domino in that. Uh, he's the one who probably starts the whole, whole process, but... As I say, he's not defendable on that point because it's his own options and it's his own choice. But what would it, what would it have took for somebody just to 
of put their arm around him and just being like, right, let's let's talk, you know, let's talk about this. And it takes me to the point of what I was aiming at for this video. And it's this. If you know someone who is suffering with mental health issues, and if you know somebody who is struggling with day-to-day -day life, right, and they do something good, and uh, um, or you see something positive, and you know they've got something positive inside of them, it's really important to play on the positives and less on the negatives. By talking about negatives to somebody, so for example, let's take this back to Nathan. If you if the, if he was to bang on about his drinking and his drugs to him, you would get nowhere uh, because the likelihood is all you're doing is cementing the bad, bad behaviors in their head. Whereas what you need to do is encourage the good side of Nathan. His art, uh, his uh, image is is art. It might be a dark style, but dark is absolutely fine just as long as it's um portrayed in the right manner and you're not doing anything that's illegal in there so being like oh your art style is really good have you and then just like building him up and uh it, his want to be involved in like plays and things like that there is so much creative industry that he could have been helped strive towards but the only person who wanted to help him it feels throughout the whole thing, the only person who wanted to help him was a teacher who wanted to mold him into something similar to himself because he wanted money. Nathan Prescott is a categoric failure of the system. He's such to the point of his parents think they can just spend money and get away from it. His parents are not great human beings, but... He's a creation of this. So what the summary of this is, and I think it's, uh, I'll, I'll start to summarize and move towards that now, is it's important to play on positives. When you're talking to somebody who suffers with mental health issues, uh, paranoia or anything like that, don't play on those negatives because all you're going to do is play into that paranoia where they're like, oh, nobody likes me. Um, if you're telling that someone they're really hard to get on with because they're abrasive, but you've got the positive of, oh, but when you're not abrasive, you're a really lovely human being, um, why go in with the negative? All you're doing is forming that negative connotation and improving, <laughs> deproving their mental wellness. It's interesting to go through Nathan's whole story. And I think he is just a complete victim of society and life is strange, as much as what Kate is. And I think that's interesting um, because I love both Kate and Nathan equally as characters because I think they both show so much uh, in forms of storytelling. Chloe to the extent as well. But with Chloe, it's a little bit harder to grit down into because it's a lot more it's a lot she's a lot more abrasive when it comes down to it and that's not a bad thing uh, it just makes her harder to be like actually that that issue there that's for me at least um but yeah the the trauma that these characters face throughout is absolutely well written is absolutely amazingly well written and i think everyone should try and play Life is Strange before the storm and Life is Strange, Life is Strange 2 because you want to go on to Daniel because Daniel's such an, another amazing character where you can look at and go, well, actually there's so much there as well mm, True Colors is a good Life is Strange but I don't feel it's, it has as much oomph uh, in its social um, understandings in my opinion but that's absolutely fine, you don't always have to be uh, so impactful but anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening. I hope you take a little bit on board or whatever you get take from this. I hope you have a fantastic time. Remember um, to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay safe and well. Enjoy your evenings, days, or mornings. Enjoy. Bye.